Hello, everyone. I'm Miss Jean with another mini adventure. Are you curious to hear what it's about? Well, curiosity is a wonderful thing. It makes us excited to explore and learn new things. It makes us better students. And being really interested in others helps us to be better friends. Scientists tell us that curious people are happier than other people. But sometimes being curious can also be dangerous, especially if you're curious about the wrong things. In today's story, Harold Peabody and his pet parakeet Ricky both learn an important lesson. Let's listen to Curiosity's Rules. Harold, what are you watching? <laughs> Hi, Mom. It's a video of a talent contest that came across online. This girl's only 12 years old, but she plays four different instruments. Harold, you know that you're not supposed to use the computer for anything other than schoolwork without getting our permission first. Uh, I was doing my homework. Really? Well, I was doing my homework, but then I finished. And I just happened to come across this clip of the talent contest. I was curious to see who won. Harold, I'm glad you're curious. It shows you have a sharp mind. Uh, thanks, Mom. But you have to be careful where that curiosity takes you. That's why your dad and I have rules about what you can do on the computer. But Mom, what's wrong with watching kids like me showing off their talents? Some of them are amazing. You and Dad would enjoy it. I'm sure they are amazing, and your dad and I probably would enjoy it. But the point is that we haven't had a chance to check it out yet. So in spite of your curiosity, you'll just have to wait. But Mom... Harold, it's my job to protect you. An awful lot of what you find online just isn't good for you, no matter how much fun they make it look. Why don't you trust me? I know what things are okay to see. I'd never watch something that was bad for me. I do trust you, Harold. But I also know how tempting some of those shows and websites can be. Even adults who should know better have a hard time setting limits for themselves. But there's so much great stuff online. Educational videos, nature shows, tutorials. Think about how much I could learn. It's perfect for a curious kid like me. It can also be dangerous for a curious kid like you. There are so many websites trying to get your attention, both good and bad. It's just too easy to get sucked in. Sucked in? Yes. For instance, you might only intend to watch that amazing video of the girl who can play four musical instruments. But then you notice a clip of cute kittens making funny noises in their sleep, and before you know it... Before I know it, I've been sucked in and I've wasted a whole afternoon. Exactly. Or even worse, those cute kittens lead you to some not-so-cute videos that you have no business watching. Understand? <sighs> Not really, but I promise to listen to you and Dad anyway. Thank you. We're just trying to keep you safe. I know. Now, you'll be happy to know the reason I came up here is to let you know that Logan called. And when you're done with your homework, that you can go over there. Yay! If I run, I can be there in five minutes. Not so fast, Harold. But, Mom, I told you I already finished my homework. But you haven't cleaned Ricky's cage yet, right? Ah, oh, Mom. Do you want to go to Logan's? You know I do. Then you'd better get started on that cage. All right. Let's see. Wastebasket, newspapers, a bowl of soapy water. Ricky, why do you have to be so messy? The bottom of your cage is covered with seeds and feathers. This is going to take forever. Hmm, there must be a faster way. I know, I'll use the vacuum. Now you just stay up on that top perch, Ricky, and we'll be off to Logan's house before you know it. This is so easy, I can't believe I never thought of it before. Staring at perch, Ricky. Ricky! Oh, no! Mom! Mom! What? What is it? It's Ricky! He got sucked into the vacuum. It's all my fault. Stay calm, Harold. We'll open the vacuum like this. Tear the bag open. Ricky! 
now. He's alive. I can't believe it. That is one lucky little bird. Thank you, God, for protecting Ricky. And thank you, God, that you knew what to do, Mom. I'm so glad Ricky's going to be okay. But how on earth did he end up in the vacuum? I'm so sorry, Mom. I thought using the vacuum cleaner to clean his cage would save time. But Ricky didn't stay on his perch where he belonged. You mean, he got too curious? Yeah, he got too curious and he got sucked in. Ah, now I see what you meant earlier when I was on the computer. The rules make a little more sense now, don't they? They sure do. <laughs> I guess Rick and I both need to be careful where our curiosity leads us. Come on, Ricky. I'm going to finish your cage without the vacuum. Then we need to get over to Logan's house. You've got quite the story to tell your brother, Rocky. I'm so glad that Ricky survived his encounter with the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> You know, sometimes our curiosity gets us into trouble, doesn't it? When God made us, He created us to want to understand things. He wants us to learn and to explore. God also wants us to be safe. And so He gave us rules and He gave us the Bible to guide us. The book of Proverbs is full of good advice. Proverbs 14 and verse 16 says this, the wise watch their steps and avoid evil. Fools are headstrong and reckless. Exercise your faith this week by exercising your curiosity. Take a walk and try to discover a plant that you've never seen before. Interview someone in your family to see if you can learn something new about them. Carefully observe the birds in your backyard, then learn their names. Go to the library and pick out a new book. See what wonderful places your God-given curiosity takes you. Now, would you like to learn more about forgiveness? You can take an adventure in Discovery Mountain with your favorite characters in the book, Mission Forgiveness. Visit our discoverymountain.com slash store to learn more. I'm Miss Jean, and you've been listening to a mini adventure in Discovery Mountain, where the air is clear, clear enough to hear your imagination, and where every day is an exercise in faith. Visit us at discoverymountain.com and connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Curiosity's Rules was written by Janice Nelson.